Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. This is for April. You know, a lot can change in a day. Remember, every word that comes out of my mouth is for you. So a lot can change in a day. You know, uh, things can change in an instant. They can change in an instant. So keep that in mind, okay? People are all all strung up over the coronavirus, right? We are. I mean, the whole world is, is, is uh, you know, out of sorts. Things can change in a day. You may be in lockdown today and free tomorrow. You may be free today and then locked down tomorrow. Could go either way, right? Things can change. It's going to be, there's going to be, an obviously, but from what I feel and, and what I see, there's going to be an instant change, okay? From one day to the next, all of a sudden, it's going to be this way. And then tomorrow it's going to be completely different. So be prepared for something that drastic to happen in April. What do we have? High Priestess. Now this is an intuitive. Okay, this is an intuitive, a tarot reader, a psychic, a medium, Somebody that is gifted, giving you a message. So, or this could be you. Your intuition may be giving you a message. Maybe you know something deep down inside. The high priestess is very reflective, very receptive, very intuitive. Has some deep feelings. Um, knowing, an inner knowing. So we have somebody here that knows something. This person really knows something. Oh, oh, about a partnership, about a union, okay? So we have this intuitive that uh, knows something about a partnership. Oh, my goodness gracious, Libra, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm not sure what is going on here, but this is beautiful. Okay, so there's a beautiful uh, union, beautiful partnership, uh, beautiful connection. Okay, this is happiness. This is extreme bl 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 bliss. Extreme bliss. Now, this is a card of renewal. It's a new life. It's a new day. So it makes really sense. It makes sense about what I said. So this is a new day dawning. So a new day is dawning, and it does have to do with love, has to do with a union. You may be sensing it coming. It's coming, okay? Something beautiful is absolutely coming for you, and I think that you probably know it's coming. Or somebody is telling you that this is coming. You could be dealing with a psychic or a medium or a tarot reader or somebody that is gifted, spiritually gifted, that is telling you that this partnership is coming, and it is going to make you very, very, very happy. Okay, this is happiness. This is freedom. This is a yes. Yes, this is love. Yes, this is perfect. Yes. So we do have a new beginning here. We absolutely do have a new beginning here. It's beautiful. It really is. Five of Pentacles reversed. So uh, five of Pentacles reverse. This is light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, here they come. Here they come. So this is act now, think later. Somebody coming in very, very fast, taking action. So somebody is moving very, very fast. They're moving very fast. They have this desire. They got this new vision. This is, this is what they want. So somebody has made a decision that this is exactly what they want. They're, 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 uh, they may have been in an unhealthy relationship in the past, but this is a turning point. There's definitely a turning point. Somebody wants to put in effort. So we have somebody coming in that is going to put in effort. 
Okay, this is somebody that suddenly enters, suddenly makes a move. This is a very sudden, and I know that it is. I know that this is a very sudden change, and it is a sudden change. This is a sudden entrance after feeling abandoned, after being ghosted, after being left behind. You know, maybe uh, you think this is never going to happen. Something wonderful is about to happen. Okay, so this is a new beginning in love because this or a partnership. Okay, there's a union here that is very beautiful, bright, leads to victory too, because this is the six of wands. This is a big win. Okay, this is a big win. This is success. This is success. This is victory after sorrow, after being in a troubled situation. Okay. So there is some sort of victory um, after being in some sort of, I don't know, war zone or um, difficult situation. This is being recognized for your hard work, recognized for your efforts. So I think you're going to be recognized or you're going to be recognizing. So this is being recognized for your hard work. This is like public recognition. So somebody could be pub being publicly recognized this month. This is progress, making progress. Ten of Pentacles reverse. This is leaving behind a family feud. Moving into a happier, happier time, uniting. It's un There's a union here. There's a there's a union. We have a we have a union here. A uniting. We have two people uniting. And it's going to bring about some sort of happiness. But the Ten of Pentacles reversed is leaving behind a a situation that was unstable, insecure. It may have been um, financially stressed. The Ten of Pentacles reversed is short-lived success, uh, massive debt. Um, somebody's been living beyond their means. Somebody may have been in a bad business deal or a bad family situation. There's fighting. There's been some sort of fighting over money, but that's over. It's ending, okay? If there's been some financial stress that has caused you... Um, dismay. I think something is over. I think that financial situation is over. Somebody may have been in a situation that was just that that had them financially set, but they're they're moving out of it. Something like that. This is an unstable business or home life. Hmm. Um, but I think that's coming to an end. But there is some sort of uh, there's a there's there could be some financial ruin here, and I don't know who this is for. <laughs> okay. Um, this is seriously ten of pentacles reversed and the thing of six of pentacles reversed somebody um oh there could be a financial disaster here i'm not trying to scare anybody but with these two cards together this is a huge financial loss it is somebody may have overspent I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it was you because this is putting in effort, working really, really hard. The eight of, eight of pentacles. Somebody's working really, really hard, but the six of pentacles reversed is um, a setback. Getting fired, getting, being unemployed or taking away or not getting the money you thought you were going to get. Or it could be whoever you are dealing with. This is this is a rejection. Somebody that doesn't reciprocate. So there's been a lack of, of reciprocation. Somebody wasn't treated fairly. Somebody hasn't been treated fairly. By who? Who is this person that wasn't treated fairly? A family member. Somebody hasn't been treated, or, or work, or something to do with, I think it's a family member, though, because this is an establishment. This is something, somebody hasn't been treated fairly in the financial arena, put it that way. They haven't been getting what they deserve financially. There could be some theft, even. Somebody may, uh, what the hell is going on here? 
Oh, geez, there could be some theft. There could be some theft. There's some a hostile environment with the Five of Swords reversed. Some some sort of. I wonder if there's a burial or there's a mourning of a or a loss of a family member. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but because um, this is a change in the family dynamics. Um, now this could be like not getting an inheritance that you thought you were going to get. If that's the case. Um, but the Five of Swords, this is being deceived by somebody. Betrayed by somebody that has no feelings, has no remorse. I think you got somebody that you've been dealing with that has no rem remorse. This person is wicked. Whoever this person is, this person is selfish. I think you're dealing with a selfish family member. I feel like it's a family member. Um... But this is freedom, freedom from this situation that was desperate, obviously. There was a lot of, um, I think there was belittling, there was betrayal, there was fighting over money. I think you're finally breaking free from it. You're breaking free from this situation. That's what I feel like it is. Even though you may not have gotten what you deserved, you're still breaking free. And that allows happiness and growth in, in the ability to... Uh, you know, once you're free from a situation that has betrayed you or held you back or or made you feel less than you are, there's a, there's relief. Okay, there's relief. So there's some sort of of end. We have an ending of a hostile situation, and I think it has to do with a family member. Okay, or a relationship or something. Could be a relationship. There is a relationship here. In the end, you're going to be happy with this. And I know that you may not see it that way right now. But there is an element of happiness here. Okay? So this is letting something go. What you don't have a choice. It's going to slip away anyway. It might not be easy. It may take a lot of effort to let this go. Now, the Five of Swords reversed is, is whoever you were dealing with was, look, is, was looking out for number one and number one only. They had no morals and they had no conscience. Okay? So I think you've been... And, and, and this is like all at war. And the Six of Wands is like a, a war card. Believe it or not, it is. So I feel like you've been in some sort of situation where there was war. And it's war between... I think it's family members. But I could be wrong. If it's not family members, it could be a relationship. A love relationship or whatnot. But I think this war is coming to an end. Put it that way. I think the war is coming to an end. Now, this is, somebody was not listening. They weren't heeding a warning. And, and, and now there's some sort of, well, that Six of Pentacles reverse is a loss. It is. I think there's been an abuse of power. We, there's been an abuse of power. We have somebody here that is very, very greedy and selfish. This person, um... is going to be judged it is going to be judged it is judgment day so this is an awakening an epiphany seeing the truth some sort of truth this is a card of karma some sort of truth is about to be revealed about somebody who uh betrayed they they stole or they didn't give what they said they were going to give and I think there's going to be something that is publicly said because of the public recognition be below somebody could get some bad publicity put it that way but this judgment card is a card of absolution it's the truth it's a it's a it's a life changing decision somebody is making a life changing decision based on the truth the truth is about to be revealed the whole truth and it's going to need to be accepted um, accepting the truth about whoever this person is that betrayed you. So I think there's going to be something that comes out that you are going to need to accept this as a loss. So, I mean, it is a loss. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Pentacles reversed, you have a loss here. You do. I can't make it up. I'd love to, but I can't. So with the Judgment card, there is some sort of karma there's being held accountable for actions and responsibility is being assigned. So there is some sort of responsibility is being assigned for somebody's lack of morals, lack of uh, conscience. Okay? 
and they're going to experience a financial loss. So somebody is experiencing a financial loss, a big one, a big one, big, 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 big one, because of their, this is karma, because of karma. So karma is about to pay somebody a visit and take something away, because this is taking something away. So something's going to be taken away. Whether it's you or the other person, I don't know, okay? So this is a wake-up call. Somebody's about get, get about to get a wake-up call. Are you ready to be judged? Because this is being judged. Judged for uh, the betrayal. Judged for what you did. So somebody's going to be judged for what they did. I don't know if it has to do with that work or in a, there's some sort of relationship here. Now there could also be for some of you a reconciliation because this is a card of reconciliation. Um, so some of you may be, um, somebody may be coming back. They may be coming in. Um, they want to put in effort. Maybe they, uh, maybe they, they pushed you away. They pushed you away. That's what it feels like. Cause this is pushed away. This person is taking action. Maybe you've been waiting for it. You knew this was going to happen. You knew this was going to happen. Maybe they've been rejected. This person has now been rejected. Somebody is definitely coming and they are coming fast. They have no fear. They are about to come flying right in. And should anybody try to stop them, they will probably get hurt. We have somebody here that has gotten some sort of awakening. They have went through some sort of awakening. And it's like all of a sudden they know what they need to do. They absolutely know what they need to do. And they are definitely going to uh, make a big move. I think this is a big move. It's like they see the truth. This is an epiphany. You may be even receiving a call from somebody. You may receive a call from somebody. Um, this call is probably going to, um, oh, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to put you right in action. That's for sure. Because we have some action here. This, this guy takes action and this one's on the move. So coming with the truth, communication, you be prepared to receive some sort of communication from somebody. I feel like this person that may have uh, neglected you or rejected you in the past. So I think there's been a rejection in the past. I don't know who this person is. But this person is coming in and they're coming in hard. They're coming in fast, fast and hard. Whoever this person is. They want a chance. They want you to listen to them. They do. They want you to give them a chance. Whoever this person is, they want to put in effort. You may have worked with this person in the past or something like that. Now they, they are going to give you what you deserve. So, I mean, this could even be an employer. It could be an employer from the past or a partner from the past. Whatever this is, it's going to make you happy. But there's a change in an establishment, whether it's a work establishment or a relationship, a love. There's a change, okay, because of that Ten of Pentacles. So there is a change in a relationship. There is. Um, this guy has no fear. He is ready. He is ready. He is ready to speak the truth. He is ready to tell the truth. He's ready to put in effort, whoever this person is. And and, it, and now we get the four of wands on the bottom. So whatever this is, this is about commitment. It's about happiness. There could be a reunion here. It feels like there's a reunion. It feels like there's a, there is a reunion between two people that may be soulmates. Um... This guy knows the truth. You may have been sensing that there that, that somebody was going to come rushing. If you have been sensing that or if a psychic or a tarot reader has told you that, the answer is yes. Okay, this, we have somebody that is 
has decided that uh, they are coming and there is nothing that you can do to stop them. Okay, this person has made up their mind. They have made up their mind and they want a chance. They want you to give them a chance. Whether this is new love or it's old love. Somebody wants you to give them a chance. They want to. And they are going to do whatever it takes to prove themselves. This person has this desire. They are very attracted. They definitely know what they want and there's no stopping this person. So if you have been feeling neglected and you have been feeling down and you feel like you're never going to be happy again, I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. Okay, I feel like there is something that is going to happen very suddenly. It's like all of a sudden this guy shows up and he shows up with some sort of information or communication or truth that causes you to listen. I think that you will listen. I think that you will uh, probably consider giving them a chance. I think that this would... Uh, it could lead to a lot of happiness, and I think that you already know who this person is. Good luck.